three things men want from a relationship and almost never get. First, acknowledgement. Most men go through life never hearing anything positive. Instead, each day they are bombarded with negativity directed at them individually or men in general. They are told they aren't needed, aren't wanted, and told they are to blame for every single thing that is wrong in today's society. Their issues, their struggles, they don't matter. And if they dare to express them or open up about them, they get crushed and told to shut up because they have it so good. The hours they put in, the physical, mental, and emotional labor they put themselves through, that's never enough. It's rarely, if ever, acknowledged and most certainly never appreciated. They go weeks, months, years, and in many cases their entire lives not hearing from anyone that they matter, that all they do is valued and appreciated. It's so rare, in fact, many men can actually name the last time it happened to them, even if it was years prior. The next thing men rarely get, emotional connection. Cue up all the ladies who say all he wants is sex. Sorry, ladies, but when it comes to having an emotional connection with a partner, men are completely different than women. Women view sex and intimacy as two separate and distinct things, which is why they often say they need an emotional connection in order to have the physical one. For men, it's completely different. Physical intimacy and emotional connection aren't separate things. They're deeply intertwined. So much so, for men, they can't be separated. So when you deny a man that physical intimacy, when you make it conditional or transactional based on him doing something, you are directly telling him that your love for him is conditional or transactional as well. It's not something you're giving freely out of love and respect. It's a business transaction. Nothing more, nothing less. And finally, the third thing, the most important thing for most men, peace. Now, peace can mean many different things and it often varies from man to man. But in general, it means you are his partner is equal and you are there to make his life better and easier as he is there to do the same for you. It's not about stuff, which is what most women define it as. The big house, the expensive car, the career or what's in your bank account doesn't mean diddly squat to most men. What matters is, will you be there standing by his side just as much without those things as you would be with them? Will you be there without judgment when he's struggling? When he's dealing with physical, mental, or emotional pain, are you going to be like most women and weaponize his struggle or turn around and make it about you? Or are you going to be there to support him and give him what he needs, what you would want in the very same situation? The bottom line is this. Most men go through life and don't get any one of those things, let alone all three. They're viewed as nothing more than disposable objects to be used and tossed aside. And ladies, this is why men are done with the relationships and walking away.